So welcome back guys. My name is Amlan and in today's Make Knowledge Free campaign, we go about looking at how we can power on a Redmi device when the power button itself isn't working. Say for example you have a Redmi device and for some reason the power button has gone bust. Now if this is what's happening with you, let's look at how you can solve the issue. Now press the volume up button, simply the volume up button. Keep it pressed and please note the sequence of events here. So now just plug in the, the charging thing. So put the charging cable into the socket, keep the volume button pressed and you will see that it will enter into the recovery options. Now since like you know using the volume buttons you can simply navigate so you can go down and other things. Basically you need to be able to press the power button in order to make a selection. But the power button isn't working remember. So you basically can do nothing now. You can't like go ahead and tap the power button in order to reboot or make the phone start. But at least if you are uh, like, you know, if you have made it till here, don't worry. Just keep the phone like this for some time. So just like hold on to this state for some time. What happens is like with the phone being on this reboot option, after around four to five minutes, you will see that the phone will automatically reboot. So don't worry if you are not getting the phone restarted immediately because we are not pressing the power button. The power isn't working. But even with the option being selected on reboot, it the phone will start automatically after a period of four to five minutes. So presently, I mean, we have just started. So it's hardly one minute which has passed. So I will simply pause the video. I will just hold on to this for say a period of four minutes. And if it's happening with you, just hold on. Don't panic. Don't feel that it's not working. After some time, it will definitely reboot. And you can see like the screen has moved to a different screen, which is reboot to system. So this has happened I believe almost after three minutes. So it's as if like if you don't make a selection, what happens is the system will act as if you have selected that certain options. So in the last screen, it was like reboot. And now since I pressed nothing because the power isn't working, it made that choice by default. So it's taken reboot to system in the next screen. So if I don't press anything, it will again act as if reboot to system has been selected and the phone will reboot automatically. So simply hold on. Wait for the default time to pass, which may be three to four minutes or four to five minutes. And it will act as if this has automatically been pressed. So you don't need to do anything at all. So guys, I have just like resumed the video so that if this happens in real time, you can check how it actually works without me having to press anything. Just so that you don't forget the steps that we did. We press the volume up button, then inserted the charging socket and like we waited for the recovery options to appear once the recovery options appeared we had to do nothing the phone automatically acted as if the reboot button was pressed and as you can see right now i have done nothing and the phone automatically reboots and you can see the phone will actually start up once the phone has started up well it's your phone finally i mean you can have it working like it normally used to do so i know it can be a big relief to many people like who's power button is not working and who wanted to know how to start the phone even without the power button working so simply go ahead and do this once the phone has restarted and everything you can take out like you know the power charging socket and everything and there you go the phone has started so this is how you simply turn on a device whose power button is working now if you go to the play store there are apps like volume power which can interchange those buttons but the point here is like if the power button isn't working in the first place, how do you even enter? So the phone is dead and you want to enter. So simply go ahead, uh, like keep the volume up button pressed with the charging socket there. Follow the sequence, wait for the recovery options, then do nothing. It will act as if the selected options for reboot have been pressed after a certain default time of four to five minutes. Do let me know in the comment sections how you find this tutorial. If this helps you kindly subscribe and please do share this with your friends and family. Also, do let us know in case you are struggling with anything else so that we can go ahead and make those tutorials as well. Until next time, it's me Amlan signing off.